the product development and thinking of you know the entire life cycle of the product and uh, I personally don't like to use the word end of life uh, you know for for product I like to use the word end of service because we actually have many products that go into multiple life cycles you know if we we actually um, if we don't think of that remanufacturing upfront in the product design. Uh, in many cases, we're able to actually remanufacture the product. Actually, historically, if you take a look at the product that are remanufactured today, um, we actually, a lot of the products that we remanufacture are not designed with remanufacturing in mind. But we, through the innovation and creativity of, of ingenuity of a lot of people who work in the industry, we'll find ways to remanufacture the product. Uh, Obviously, if we design it for remanufacturing, you know, it's not only uh, that we look at the remanufacturing aspect, we look into service, uh, we look into every aspect of, of the product life cycle, including remanufacturing. We can do that in far more efficient ways than the alternative. So design for remanufacturing, thinking about that in product development in a serious way, I think is very important. Um, in some cases, for example, if you think about uh, large ships or aircraft or uh, many other systems, uh, you know, sometimes in remanufacturing, we, we start actually um, analyzing the product that are coming back to identify the best way to remanufacture it. Uh, sometimes that can cost a lot of money and time uh, to do that. If we thought of that up front in design, that can save us you know, a lot, of, a lot of money and time also, and eliminate, you know, any errors that could happen in that process. So definitely um, can be very, very uh, advantageous to start thinking about remanufacturing and product development. As I always say that remanufacturing is really done in, in, in very well-established businesses as an art. And when I created our center, uh, at the university years ago, I think uh, my colleagues always said that my job was to convert that art into science because we knew how things work and we know the process, but we didn't necessarily invest heavily in understanding why it doesn't work this way and how can we duplicate this process uh, with less effort. Unfortunately, if you take a look at a lot of what we teach in engineering schools across the board globally, uh, you will not see curriculum you're not going to see classes, you're not going to see textbooks on remanufacturing describe the engineering science uh, related to remanufacturing. Uh, and, um, you know, even beyond engineering, the operational aspect of remanufacturing, there are very little actually that's available uh, to assist people actually in understanding the science and business aspect of remanufacturing. Mm -hmm.